Hello, all my Sagittarius friends, and welcome to Indigo Goddess 1111. My name is Indigo, and I'm here to bring your February 2018 read. Um, this will not resonate with everybody, so take what fits and leave what don't. And also check your um, other signs as well, your moon rising, Venus, um, and take out of those reads what fits. And you should have a pretty good overall view of your month. So with that, we'll get started. The first five cards will be you, Sagittarius. Um, the first four will represent the four weeks of February. The fifth one will be your overall energy. And then the second row is the same thing, but it's the energy of the person you are connecting with. The person you're in a relationship with, thinking about um, whatever you are dealing with. So we'll get started. Spirit and Angels, we get five cards for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February 2018. First four cards represent the four weeks of February, the fifth day the overall energy. What messages do you have for Sagittarius? What do they need to know? What do they get to know? What do you want them to know? Starting out with, oops, let me move my cards here. Starting out with the death card in reverse. So something needs to come to a completion. It is not quite there yet. Something coming to an end in the first week of February. What else do you want them to know, Spirit? You have the King of Cups for your second week. The hangman for your third week and strength for your fourth week. Oh, way too many spirit. Thank you. There we go. Ooh. Okay, and now for their partner. Okay. positive I think <laughs> okay I am going to clarify today with the vice versa deck um just so you guys know um, all cards that fly out of the deck I assume um fell face down and I always flip them so I'm consistent because these cards have um pictures on both sides so that way I um, I read the cards the same way every time. So when they fly out on the table, I will flip them over as if they fell face down. Why is this death card here for Saggies in the first week of February? Spirit, why is the death card here? And any clarifying card that flies out that's Major Arcana, I will clarify with a third deck. Why is the death card here in reverse? Okay. So you have the chariot. So um, a cycle is coming to an end. You are trying to hold off. You're trying to keep it from ending, but eventually you will be moving on with the chariot. Why is this chariot here? For Saggies in the first, oops. In the first week of February. Okay, Wheel of Fortune. So you are um, getting what's coming to you. Good karma is coming your way. You are getting a, if you've been up, you are now, or down, you are now coming up, which in the upright, I see it is the case. So you are going to be moving on to better things. Way too many, Spirit. Can I get a clarifying card for the Wheel of Fortune? That's three major arcana in one week. That is insane. Why is this Wheel of Fortune here for Sagis in the first week of February? Well, now it doesn't want to give me any cards. There we go. Okay. Three of Pentacles. Okay, so you are part of a third party. You are no longer going to be putting up with that um, energy around you. You are... Letting this, um, this is coming to an end, but it's not quite there yet. 
you will be moving forward to being single and good karma is coming your way and uh and and you are leaving a relationship that you have been part of a third party Um, your partner is going to be taking some time of rest. Um, they, they are out of balance with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Um, they are going to um, take a step back and rest themselves. And um, they are going to venture off towards their wish that they want in a new direction um, and make a fresh start. I am... This energy is coming from the end of January. So this is somebody you're leaving behind, Saggies. Um, this bottom line spirit is telling me is who you are going to be involved with. This energy is what you are coming from. You have just left a relationship or you are leaving a relationship due to cheating, being a third party, etc. Why is this King of Cups here for Saggies in week two? So this bottom row is not the person that you're leaving or that you have left. There's the King of Cups here for in week two. <clears throat> not that one. Okay. Whoa. So. Okay. That was way too many. So I'm going to try that once again. There's the King of Cups here in the second week of February. Okay. So the King of Cups is being clarified by the Three of Pentacles. So in week two, you're going to be getting a recognition from this person that you're dealing with. They are currently out of balance, however. They are... With the two pinnacles in reverse, they are trying to juggle um, two things. And it's being clarified by the six of pinnacles in the um, upright. So they are going to find balance. Um, this person that holds your cup, the king of cups here, um, the person you're connecting to, they are going to... As you see, the sun is shining in on you. Um, they are going to recognize you and how great you are. They are going to make you feel very special the second week of February. And, um, and you're going to really feel, you're going to feel really like, really special, Sagis, which is awesome because it's that this second week of February is Valentine's Day, right? So in the third week, you have the hanged man. It's being clarified by the five of cups and the three of cups. So you are um, taking a step back. You're pausing. You are going within because you are scared. You are still getting over that relationship with the spilled cups. And this bottom row are these two cups here. So you are still mourning the loss of this past relationship or the hurt that was caused by this third party. So, um, yeah, and you are feeling like you are going to be getting out of the feeling, though, of feeling stuck. Um, you are no longer going to feel like you are trapped emotionally um, because you are, you are getting out of your head about that past relationship. You are realizing that not all people are like that past relationship that you had. And their third week, they have the four of wands. So they are hoping for a commitment from you. And they are coming in on their horse. And they are going to offer their cup to you. They are going to um, they are going to offer you a commitment. Why is the strength here in the fourth week of February? Things are moving very fast in this, Saggies. Um, for a group of you, this is a past relationship that you've had before. And you're in separation. Um, and, um, and you guys are coming back together. The strength card in the fourth week is being clarified by the death card on the back side. As you see, this is the front side. And this is the back side. And that's just regrowth. That 
is growing um, from, this is like rising up from the ashes. So spirit is saying that you are going to have strength in rebuilding yourself, starting fresh, starting new. And there's going to be reason to celebrate with you and your king of cups. There is going to be so much love and emotion here. It's amazing. Why is the Ten of Swords and the King of Wands in reverse for Sagi's overall energy? Oh my goodness, that's way too many. <laughs> Let's try that again, Sarah. Why is the Ten of Okay. So, the Ten of Swords, you're coming out of this um, feeling of being betrayed, backstabbed, um, losing, you've lost all passion. You've, you have, you've really losing hope due to this past relationship, but this person's going to come in and you are going to use all the tools you have to make this a beautiful relationship. You also have the queen of wands. So it's going to be very passionate, very, um, you're going to be very dedicated, very just, and then you have the hair front. It's just going to be beautiful. This is an amazing set of cards. You could very possibly be dealing with a Virgo or a Taurus, but most definitely an Earth sign. Uh, Sagis, why is this Five of Swords here? Why is this Five of Swords here for whoever Sagittarius is connecting with? Okay, so with the Five of Swords the, as their overall energy, they're also walking away from something with the Eight of Cups clarifying it. So they're going to be walking away. Um, this is a lot of times signifying the X card. So they will be laying their swords down and walking away. And with it clarified by the Eight of Cups, they are... They know that you are that cup that's missing and they are going after their wish. You see that shooting star in the back? They are coming after you. They um, know this relationship is divinely guided and they are leaving the relationship that they are currently in to come find you. Yeah, and they are going to make you an offer. Offer of stability, of love, um, of passion, of commitment. So... Overall, Sagittarius, this is a beautiful reading. Oops, wrong deck. Why is this hair paint here, please, Spirit? I get a clarifying card for this hair paint and the death card. Oops, that one flipped over. Justice. And for the death card. Okay. So, you are going to let all the battles in your mind over this relationship, over blocking people out, over um, guarding yourself, you are going to now let that be done. You are going to allow this person into your life. And yeah, you are going to move towards them too. Look at this. You guys are going to be moving towards each other because you're both coming out of a relationship. Awesome. Okay, so you got the... Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Fool. So, yeah, you're going to be stable, grounded. It's going to be an honest relationship. It's going to be practical. And it's going to start out with a fresh new beginning. Now you both have this card as well. So, congratulations, Sagis. It looks like February is going to turn out to be a beautiful month for you. It may be hard in the beginning as you're getting over those past hurts of past relationships, as well as them getting out of a relationship themselves. But um, by the end of February, I see you two being together in a committed relationship and um, it being just absolutely beautiful. So I hope you guys have a wonderful February. Once again, this will not resonate with everybody, but for those of you, it does. Um, I wish you well. It's going to be beautiful and spiritual and I wish nothing but the best for you. God bless.